Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a Morning Marco Pro video for Friday, July 15th, 2022. Well, yesterday turned out to be kind of an interesting day with um, a bit of a surprising twist. We had just terrible data coming our way from earnings and economic um, numbers. And yet, although we gapped substantially lower, the bulls came in to defend the 2022 lows. Might have been a little bit of a surprise, but there was some reason why that might have occurred. But now the question is, facing another huge day of data, will they be able to follow through? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Hope everyone had a great evening, all rested up, because today could be kind of a wild day with a lot of data coming our way and the market acting, well, just a, maybe a little bit differently than you would expect. Let's take a look at the charts. Now, although we rallied substantially yesterday, I want to remind everyone that one day does not make a rally and if we take a look at um, here in the chart as a matter of fact that one day really didn't fix anything as a matter of fact we rallied right back into that price resistance in the chart remember we still have a lower high followed by a lower low which um, really supports the potential that we could maintain a downtrend in the chart and we still have significant resistance levels above we also have a substantial technical resistance above in the chart so you'll want to keep that in mind and try not to let that emotional anticipation run in and say oh my gosh i'm missing out i gotta hurry up and buy remember buying right at price resistance or near price resistance while the market is still in a downtrend is a very high risk proposition and could be that place where you could get whipsawed right back to the other side. So watch that close. Now, if we take a look at um, our SPY, very much the same situation. The SPY reversed, rallied up nicely, rallied up toward price resistance in the chart. Please keep in mind, we still have significant price resistance levels above. We still have a downtrend in play on the chart. So you'll wanna watch these resistance levels as we push through. If we can push through into that um, those downtrends, that's exactly where you might expect those bears to show up to defend the downtrend. Trend. So watch that closely. And again, our technicals here, pretty bearish. Um, all four, four of our indexes um, ended up closing the day um, below their eight exponential moving average. So not exactly a bullish situation here in the market. So be really, really careful not getting caught up in the fear of missing out just yet because nothing has really changed. If we take a look at the QQQ, surprisingly, the NASDAQ found a way to um, actually end up green on the day, pushing all the way back up and completely defending the lows here in the chart. But let's keep in mind um, all we really did is push back into price resistance um, significant price resistance above that downtrend is still in play here on the chart and we're right there at those resistance levels where if the bears are going to show up they could show up right in that area so be careful rushing in and if we take a look at our iwm very much a similar situation here nice reversal rally on the day but it didn't fix anything we're still in a downtrend still have significant resistance levels above to defeat but there is that little bit of hope holding the higher low in the market gives us that oh my gosh could we could we finally start reversing and um, relieving some of this selling pressure well, we'll see if we can follow through. Remember that one day does not make a trend. If we take a look at our um, VIX, interesting day on the VIX as well, where we pushed up pretty substantially in the morning, but not as much as you would think with a almost 600 point move to the downside. Um, the VIX was just like, yeah, don't care. 
um, maybe the market has reached that point of complacency where they just like, we, we've got to get some upside because we're so tired of the downside and we'll do anything to make it go up. Uh, we'll see. I don't know um, where that is, but we certainly have um, a lot of bad um, um, economic numbers. And, and even this morning, we're seeing bank numbers roll in negatively. So um, we'll see if they can continue to maintain that bullishness in through today. Now, watch that closely. We're still holding on to support. And we're kind of clinging right to that little upside trend. There's no no worries here in, in this chart though, unless we break that downtrend and really start to hold the higher lows here in the VIX. So if those bulls can find reason for inspiration, we might actually break this down today with a good bullish um, uh, relief rally. Now, if we take a look at our T2122, it gives us that best hope that that is what is underway. I mentioned this yesterday, the T2122 still had that opportunity for a downside move. And yesterday when we were down um, 600 points, our T2122 was down here. And although we rallied up off of there, notice that we really didn't change a whole lot. We just lifted it back up on that daily basis. So what it says right now is that if we have um, a reason for those bulls to to defend or to, or to find that bullishness, if they can continue to, to follow through, we certainly have plenty of upside room that we can move in that T2122 if they can find that inspiration to continue pushing. However, we also have to notice that if those bears find reason for inspiration, then we still could um, push back down or reverse. And that's one of the things that I would watch for that potential today where the bulls being stubbornly pushing through and it may be just one of those situations where the institutions are forcing this. If you notice the volume yesterday, it was still suspiciously um, weak that if we if we push up and inspire people to jump and buy that opens that door to allow the institutions to continue to sell to someone and then they end up reversing the day so i do think we want to watch for that possibility as we push into the resistance levels of the chart that we could still follow through this morning and yet even and yet reverse uh, before the end of the day. So just watch that closely and be really careful. I'd be I'd be careful about over trading this market right now with um, that fear of missing out as your motivation. Um, let's take a look at our T2107. Now our T2107 early in the day was down here at a new low. So the reversal um, on the day actually helped us out quite a bit. We held on at the end of the day to that low, but certainly 15% of the stocks holding above the 200 day, boy, it's pretty tough to look at that and say, hey, this thing is just wonderfully bullish and I should put a lot, whole lot of risk into the market. Um, keep in mind, it wouldn't really take a whole lot of a push to the downside to reverse all of this and close the week at new lows. So kind of keep that in mind. If the bulls can continue to fight, remember, we've got to get through some of these resistance levels here in the chart. And then we still have a big downtrend to defend or um, beat. If we look at our T2108, T2108 has been doing way better um, than T2107. The stock's holding above their 40-day moving average. So notice yesterday, even though we had that rally, our T2108 pulled back and obviously we closed mostly down on the day. So not a big surprise that that is the case. 26% of the stocks holding above their 40 day. So it is an improved situation here on T2108, but we're still a long ways from calling the all clear here with resistance above. And remember, if we do get that that kind of a reversal from resistance today that could change this picture really quickly so you'll want to keep that in mind now our t2101 did show a reversal yesterday in the move but once again i don't think we're getting all that great of data um, here on those charts so if we take a look at our um, diamonds notice how weak our diamonds volume oh, we were weaker yesterday 
um, then um, the day prior, a very interesting situation how weak um, this volume has been um, as we're trying to hold these lows. So we're going to want to watch that pretty carefully. And that does make me a little bit suspicious as we approach these resistance levels, whether or not we'll actually be able to push through or if those bears will re-engage and push us back lower. So be watchful of that and respect those price resistance levels in the charts. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, well, we've got a busy one this morning and certainly lots of potential uh, data that could um, uh, well just create lots of volatility first off we're going to have retail sales right now it's surprising to me but the consensus out here is that retail sales improved this last month um, we'll see um, watch that closely we're going to have empire state manufacturing we've seen manufacturing slowing they're still continuing to suggest that it's not improving on manufacturing import export prices um, um, today the next really big one that can move the market is that industrial production number we we'll want to keep an eye on that one specifically and then business inventories which we continue to see are growing as consumers are not spending and uh, then we have the consumer sentiment in here which is one of my favorite indicators and I just kind of have to assume that's probably not going to be that great so um, a lot of data coming our way can we ignore it yeah we absolutely can just because we're kind of oversold and we're just in a in a maybe a friday mood that we want to see a rally but watch those closely because that could create if those numbers um, inspire those bears that could create that reversal at price resistance so watch that carefully if we um, take a look at our earnings calendar today we have uh, quite a few um, of the big banks reporting today, but not a, a huge number of um, earnings and notables this morning. Um, I've already seen WFC come in and WFC moving just a little bit lower here this morning. Um, they are setting aside capital uh, because um, uh, bad loans and delinquencies and things like that rising. So they're setting aside capital for that. Um, uh, probably disappointing the market. So watch that. We're going to hear from BK today. Um, looks like BK is trying to push just a little bit higher here uh, in this down, you know, although we're in a major downtrend, trying to push up here just a little bit from a, um, new lows of 2022. Uh, so watch that closely. We're going to hear from uh, BlackRock today. Be okay. Um, looks like they're moving um, a little bit bearishly here this morning. We've got Citibank reporting this morning. Um, they made new 2022 lows yesterday, and it looks like they're pushing a little bit lower this morning. Uh, PNC Financial um, looks like they're gapping lower this morning. Um, on their data continuing that downtrend um, we have state street um, reporting today so keep an eye on that one we're going to hear from a usb keep keep an eye on usb this morning uh, that'll be um, in, an interesting report as well and then last but not least we're going to hear from a healthcare big healthcare provider and you can see UNH and this is one of those areas that I think is that kind of defensive area um, in a possible recessionary market because we're going to need health care and um, holding this price support in here and bouncing higher this morning I think would be um, bullish for um, United Health Care so keep an eye on that. So with that, let's um, take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me the, that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons, continue to leave those brief comments. The channel is growing and um, I want to say thank you to everyone who does participate in helping that channel to grow with that information you know I, I mentioned before it does take quite a bit of effort to 
prepare all this data and, and put these videos out and um, it is so much appreciated when you guys click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments i i do truly appreciate it let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and make sure you understand the risks of these trades there is a lot of potential of sub substantial volatility and remember we're going to be facing here in in another couple of weeks a, uh, a likely big interest rate increase we're going to have um, our gdp number coming our way and I got to tell you, it just looks pretty rough in this market ahead for the remainder of the summer um, as earnings roll in. So please be careful. Let's take a look here at some of these stocks that I think are showing some pretty good signs. Um, yesterday, um, First Solar made a nice move back up. We've had that nice little resting pullback that occurred here above that 50-day moving average. So right now, First Solar is looking pretty bullish here. You'll notice that in the pre-market, we're showing just a little bit of bearishness coming in here on that. But I like the way this pattern is developing. If we can pop that downtrend in here, holding above that 50-day moving average, we might watch for some of these alternative energies to start start perking up through that upside. Another alternative, um, take a look at Plug Power. Now Plug Power broke its downtrend and broke through some resistance in the chart. Now we're struggling just a little bit here, but notice we're still kind of holding on to that trend and that possible little upside trend. If we look at the moving averages in here, right there on that 50 day moving average, we're kind of dragging that 50 day moving average out. So you'll want to watch that carefully. If that starts to turn, that creates that rounded bottom breakout pattern that is so productive um, and something you want to pay attention to and watch for that opportunity that that might reach up here toward that 200 day moving average if that can get going. Now other other charts in that same kind of pattern, you guys know I've been mentioning Rivian. Um, Rivian in that nice little rounding bottom pattern picking up um, starting to show signs of bullishness in that chart. So I would watch that carefully. We broke the downtrend here. We're trying to rally up. Now, if I run this trend up here, it may suggest this may have to rest considerably longer before it gets going. But I do think it's worth putting this on a list and keeping an eye on that chart. You might also want to keep an eye on um, I've mentioned this one several times before as well. Etsy trying to perform here, as you can see, pushing up through that 50 day moving average. We're starting to show just a little bit more weakness than I'd like to see in that chart. But if we can ultimately hold on to this price support and perk back up, I'd keep an eye on that and notice our trend would be out here. So that certainly hasn't broken down just yet. So keep a close eye on stocks like um, Etsy. You might also take a look at um, snow snow also coming up in that rounding pattern trying to perk up and look pretty good here in that chart the opportunity that that could move on higher so keep an eye on snow um, and completely different area of the market and I'm almost a, almost suspicious of this a little bit surprised by it to tell you the truth that uh, Boeing is acting so strong here pushing up but the fact of the matter is price is showing us where it wants to go and we've pulled above that 50 day moving average or shorter term moving averages have come up providing that additional support in there Boeing breaking through some resistance levels that's looking pretty darn bullish in here and if we were to um, ignore this kind of outlier area right here notice our trend is out here so maybe a little bit more rest and we could see Boeing continue to move on higher so keep a close eye on um, stocks like that other places that you might want to look um, we have um, a lot of resistance in some of the big tech and I'm I'm concerned that some of our big tech um, is rallying um, just in in anticipation of earnings but we have um, so much resistance above that I'm afraid a lot of people might get caught in a trap 
here on the stock stock so watch this we've got microsoft here and we know microsoft is just a behemoth it's not going to go away it's going to be around here forever but if you take a look at what we've got going on here in our technicals our 50 day has crossed down through our 500 day here in the chart we rallied back to price resistance and we continue in this downtrend so i would watch this chart if you're looking for that potential short in the market these rallies back to resistance are exactly what we want to be watching for now i know when you look at this chart everyone's going to scream at me and say but campbell that is a higher low that means we're going up well um, we had a higher low here um, so uh, kind of keep that in mind we made a double top and then a lower low so I wouldn't say that this constitutes a very very strong higher low in the chart any rally back to that resistance would potentially show that rollover to the downside and I think we could see that in a lot of techs there's so much anticipation on these and we still have some pretty darn wild speculation uh, going on in the market and if these were to happen to fail you could see how that could bring that market down pretty hard so just watch and respect those resistance levels in the chart so with that guys hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading and I want to um, also wish you a wonderful weekend for yourself and your family be safe out there we'll see you right back here bright and early next Monday take care everyone have a great weekend I wish you all the best.